Hey y'all, um, my name is Sapphire Turner. I am the owner of Amazingly Grace Creations, LLC. Um, I have started a jewelry business um, that I'm, well, I'm, I started making jewelry and I'm adding it to my collection of other different things that I do. Um, and today, I will be showing you on how I do my beaded um, charmed bracelets or just my regular beaded bracelets. All right. Um, all of the supplies and things that you're going to see today in this video, um, you can find on Amazon, um, Etsy, uh, Walmart. All right. Um, so, yeah. So what you want to do first is this is the elastic string that you want to have to put the beads on and what i do is like i'll try to go ahead and just measure measure my wrist i can't find my um i have a, a measuring tape that i kind of do it with as well but um i go ahead and measure the wrist just it's like bit, and then you know i leave a little bit of room and then i'll cut it so what being that i do like triple stacks um, I will cut three strings, three strands of string. So you cut three strands of string. That's two. Then you make sure that it's even with the other two for the third one. I'm going to try not to move as quick as possible, y'all. This is my very first video recording on how I do my beaded bracelets. So yeah and as you come on and watch my video would you please be so kind to like and subscribe i would really appreciate it all righty so these are the beads i'm going to be using i actually got these cute little beads from um what did i get these from from michael's came in like a little box like this all right, and it was like what? How much I pay for these beads? Like no more than like seven dollars, I think. And you get a whole bunch. I have them all separate, like the different colors separated on the table. But yeah, I don't know the name. Where did I put the um? Well, I can't think of the name of these right now. But yeah, you get the point. So I'm gonna put. Um, I was putting five at a time, but I didn't like the way it looked. It didn't look full enough, so I put seven beads. Now, you can do what you want to do, but I put seven beads on my bracelets to make it look a little fuller. All right, so it's three. So I'm going to try to move as quick as possible. They be falling and stuff sometimes, so. That's four. Is this the same color as that? Nope, I got to take that off. That's another color. All right, that's four. Five, six, seven, and then I'm going to add my spacer to that. I have these little gold spacers that have like the little rhinestones in them. You probably can't, I don't know why you can't see it, but yeah, you'll see. They're called spacers. You can also get those from Amazon. They're not expensive at all. I ordered like a gold and silver, um, gold and silver package together. So I put the two spacers on that. Let me see, is my camera on? Hold on, y'all. There we go. It looks a little bit more clearer. All right, so I'm going to add the second um group of seven. One, two. So y'all can look forward to a lot more videos coming. Um, I decided to just step up and step out and do this. Um, you know, a lot of people, they don't like to come on 
the social media sites sharing um, their knowledge or sharing what it is that they do because they're afraid that other people may steal it. But I, I got the blueprint, you know what I'm saying? So nobody can steal what God has given me. You get what I'm saying? Like, I don't mind coming up here sharing knowledge and teaching, instructing on how to create. I love creating. Um, I started creating, um, actually I was creative when I was young, when I was younger, but you know, due to life challenges and growing up and you know, the streets and things like that, um, it kind of died, kind of died on me. One, two, three, four. So five, six, um, seven so when the pandemic hit what i did was you know checks was rolling in um what they call a the little stimmies was rolling in so i was like okay lord not stimmies um you know the income tax came in listen i'm not ashamed the income tax came and i was like you know what i'm going to invest in something so i'm going to add the two gold spacers as i'm talking um I said, I'm going to invest in something. I'm like, Lord, what is it that I can, you know, what can I do um, to start a business? And basically, I went to Walmart. I began to walk down the aisles and the Lord started speaking to me. And he first started out with the fabric. Mind you, I've never sewn a day in my life. Mm -hmm. Started out with the fabric and, um, okay, so I said, oh, okay, okay, Lord. So I started buying the fabric. And then I said, okay, what can I do with the fabric? And he gave me a vision of pillows. So I said, okay, so we're going to sew some pillows. I said, Lord, I don't know how to do it, but I'm sure you're going to instruct me. So I bought the fabric. I bought the fluff for the pillows. Um, came home, sat there, figured out how to do it. Sew it from the inside out, put the fluff in. And it was basically ball game from the very beginning of when I started um doing it was it was just like ball game from the very beginning of when i started my um when i started from the first day and then after that i kept doing it and i kept doing it and i kept doing it and it just it just got better i'm getting all these notifications all of a sudden while i'm trying to do the video i'm getting all of these distractions um but anywho so it just was it was fabulous um the way the lord started blessing me people began to buy and buy and from that i went to making glass vases with flowers it's like my craft have been he's just been adding and adding and adding and adding and adding i'm recording boo boo that's my kid um so he's been adding and adding and adding to the point where now i am doing beaded charm um, beaded charm bracelets and I was actually thinking about making this a separate business from um, Amazingly Grace Creation. So I'll see how that goes. Excuse me. I'm recording. Go in the room, boo. That's my little Malachi. He's four years old. Go in the room, baby. Okay, so. So what you do next, after you put your two spacers, you want to tie it now. You want to tie this in a knot about a good three times. So that, you know, if you sell it to the customer, it doesn't come apart or it doesn't pop or anything because you don't want that. You know, it happens. You know, nobody's perfect. These bracelets ain't perfect. But, you know, for the first impression, you want to make sure that that don't happen. So you tie this about three times in a knot. So I put it like between my knees and I go ahead and tie it, y'all, because I can get a better grip with my knees holding it. All right, so just bear with me as I tie it. I'm gonna put three knots in it. My hands are slippery, so that's one. Two. Three. Okay, you see that? Malachi, 
got the three knots. Well, I put three knots in it. All right, so now what you do is you get as close as you can and you want to cut off the excess string. Okay. So you cut off the excess string, the extra string, and voila, there you have it. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other two and you guys will see how it comes out. All right, so, so yeah, so um, I just been creating. I even started doing these bracelets. Let me take it off. The bangle bracelets as well. And the process to this is so, 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 so easy. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the process of how I do these. I don't want no water, baby. You got that out the sink in the bathroom. He bought me bathroom water, y'all. <laughs> Child, you're going to get me sick. I think I'm going to show you how I do my... Um, excuse me. I'm, I'm recording. Go. I think I'm going to show you in part two how I do my... Um, pendant bangles or um, beaded bracelets so yeah so right now I'm just I'm just gonna show you how I do the beaded bracelets and then um the other one will be a part two so one two three so I just say y'all for y'all to be encouraged those of you who want to start a business and don't know how i started a business in a pandemic of 2020 like and i'm not the only one like millions of people started their businesses their businesses in a pandemic like that is such such like that is a strange thing but i jumped on it i was like uh-uh two three four five i started my business april of april no i i started doing the work in February, but I didn't make it legal until April. So three, four, five, six, seven. So I started doing the regular pillows first. Then I went to glass bases with flowers. Then I went to freaking making face masks, um, uh, bow top pillows. I mean, I just started making all kinds of stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all kinds of stuff. Um, you know, all glory to God, all glory to God, all glory to God. I'm like, what is that? My kids, I have four children, y'all. And I could be sitting here not doing nothing and they won't even bother me. But as soon as I start doing something, they like to make all the noise in the world. I'm sure some of y'all mothers, most of y'all mothers can relate. <laughs> Three. Four, five, six, seven. So, the Lord told me that I could do this. And I was like, but other people doing that. And it's like, okay, so, but nobody do it like you. You know, there's a lot of people doing the same thing, but that don't stop nobody. That don't stop them. You know what I'm saying? So at first I was like, no, Lord, I can't do that because I know people that do jewelry and stuff like that. And he was like, you are capable. I'm capable of doing all things through Christ Jesus. So I'm going for it and I'm doing it. And may I remind you, may I let you, you guys know, this past Friday, this Friday that just passed before the weekend was my first time ever doing this. And the way that I have done bracelets, you would think that I've been doing it for a long time. 
that's just the gift. And I, I humbly say that that's the favor and the gift that God has bestowed upon me. That's the grace, one, two, three, four. Because a lot of people can't catch on to things like this or a lot of things so quickly. Um, what I did do, I did go and um, some a few people that, you know, inspired me. One, two, three, four, five. That I've learned, you know, learned some things from. And um, it was a go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm trying to create all types of jewelry, all kinds. Um, I started off with the, you know, with these bracelets, and then I'm going to start making necklaces to go with them. Um, it's going to be amazing. It's going to really be amazing. I just started this Friday, and I'm like, wow. I, I just actually sold my first um, two. I sold two triple stack. Um, charmed two triple stack sets with charms on them i just sold two of them i was so excited like oh my god i really did it i really did it she really likes it like i was so souped and so excited and i and, and i actually love it like i love what i do i was a little frustrated friday when i was doing it because you know it was my first time doing it and the beads kept falling and then i was like lord you sure i could do this like you sure the Lord was that you that was speaking? But um he said, Yeah, it takes it it, it works, it's working. Uh-uh. No. I know, I know. I'm about to get involved. It's working patience out in me. Because literally I will sit here and do this and mess it it'll mess up three or four times. Like Friday, the bees kept falling off the thing. It happened like three or four times. And I was so irritated, and I was like, you know what? I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. But as you all know, or as you will get to know me, as I as you see my face more often, I'm not a quitter. So, Malachi, hush. Excuse me. Go in the room. Go. You want to come in and sit in baby shark? Go in the room now. And um. You know, so I had the woosa and I was sweating and stuff. And, you know, I, I gave up like five times. It's like, nah, you ain't no quitter. You could do this, you know. And I literally sat there and I did it. No matter how long it took, I did it. And I was excited. Okay, so I did that three times. And um, I said before, you cut it as close as you can. See? I wish I had my um I can't put the thing on here. Oh well. But anyway, y'all get the point. So that's the second one. So that will be a double stack. And then I'm gonna do the last one. So y'all can get a full understanding of what I'm doing. Alright. And so I did the bracelets and I was excited about it. And, I, you know, I began to practice, and you know, more. And I did like, I don't even know how many sets I've done so far since Friday. And I enjoyed doing it. Then I started making the pendant bracelets. These are custom. These are the customized ones. Um, I do the family, family portrait ones. All you will have to do is, um, you know, send me your photo of what you want. And I would do the rest. Um, yeah, so I'm going to save that information for the next video. But yeah. Four. Oh, no, you don't go over here. You go over there. Three. Four. So for all of you ladies who want to start a business but don't know how or scared, listen, just, do it. just step out and do it. One, two, three, four, five. What's the worst that can happen? Nothing. And you don't fail until you quit. And we ain't no quitters over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I say that to say, do what you need to do for yourself, for your family. 
Let the Lord lead you in what it is that he wants you or desires for you to do. Make sure that your heart is pure in what you do. Yes, we all love money. Well, no, money. No, we don't love money, but we need money. Or I need money because I have a family, you know, and... You still have me. Yes, that's my Malachi. And the Lord has been providing, you know... The Bible says money. No, don't do that. The Bible says money answereth all things. So, you know, we needed to survive, you know. It is, but it, it it is the love and the greed, greed that makes it a sin. You know, excuse me. Go in the room, Malachi. Now. Go in the room. Told you, see, they don't come bother me until they know I'm doing something. Now he's like, I want to go get a toy. Go get the toy and go in the room. Go. Thank you. So don't let nobody disturb with you. And let me tell y'all something. Starting a, a jewelry business, well, I can't speak about all business, but a jewelry business, it's not a lot of money. Trust me. So for all you ladies out there who want to start doing jewelry, Start from where you are. Start from where you are and then work yourself up. I bought what I could afford. And may I tell you that these pieces have came out amazing. One, two, three, four, five. Amazing. Six. And I'm glad that I started it. So I said, Lord, whatever I put my hands to, May it be blessed. And he has really been blessing my soul. Do my creations. I'm like, it's one thing after another. Like the downloads is just nonstop. And it's basically everything I put my hand to. I can do it. So I just say this to encourage those who want to start a business or a jewelry business. Just do it. Listen, you can get your supplies from Amazon. Okay. You can get your supplies from Walmart. For cheap. You can get supplies from Etsy. One, two, three, four. Or Panda Hall. Five. Six. Seven. Like, it's, it's so easy. It really is. All it really takes is patience. Like, and you have to love your craft. You have to love what you do. I love creating. I'm not even going to lie. Like, there's some people that's in a profession that don't even like what they do. Whereas me, per se, I love what I do. I love creating because I know that it is something that God has given me. It is a gift. It is a blessing. And I run with it. Let me tell you something. When my father dropped that down low in my spirit and I see that vision, I run with it. And... I got to repent because sometimes, you know, I overwork myself and, you know, that's a sin. You know, that's the abuse of the body. But, you know, and he's working with me on that. You know, it, it just be so, it's the ex excitement. Like, I be, you be so excited. I be so excited when he download things to me and, you know, say it's okay. He give me the okay, the green light for me to actually do it. Yeah, it's a go. He already know. Like, my husband, when I first started, um, like, I brought, an, I invested in myself and brought an embroidery machine. I bought one, I bought the first one, and then when I had got extra money, I went and bought a better one that was, like, over $1,000. I've never spent that kind of money, like, investing in myself, like, as far as the business-wise. And um, I started doing embroidery, all of the above, like... And let me tie this. I have to tie this three times. So I got to concentrate, y'all. Two. Two. I'm just doing this. Three. And, um, what was I saying? I don't know, but. Just invest in yourself. You have to invest in yourself. You can't be stingy. You can't be looking for hand me out, hand, um, handouts. Get your couple of dollars. Go start you a business. 
and then once you you know make it legal you know, you want to make it legal, make sure your name is in cause you're good and nobody ain't got your name because you don't want to be out here getting sued and all of the above. That's why I think I'm going to go ahead and um, register my new name for this business. I don't think I want to do this under Amazingly Grace Creations LLC, but I'll see. I'll see what the Lord says. I'll see. Oh, yes, this is a um, Christian based um, YouTube channel. I love the Lord. All right, so I'm 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 representing the Big J, which is Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm about on this YouTube channel. So I pray that as you watch me, you all are blessed with these creations, and I pray that you get something from them, you get encouragement from my videos. All right, so yeah, so look, this is my triple stacked. Blamed Spacers bracelet. All right. Let me put it on for y'all. And there you have it. And I still got a little room. Look at that. Ain't that cute? That is so freaking cute, y'all. That is so amazing. All right. So I just wanted to come up here today to show y'all how you can create something so simple if you have the patience, all right? And it's beautiful. It's a beautiful stacked, beautiful stacked, um, triple stacked bracelets. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to add charms and um, maybe one of these, but we'll see. So, um, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I pray that you um, guys were blessed in what you saw me do today. I pray for, I pray that um, the women that are, that want to start a jewelry business, um, be encouraged, you know, do it afraid, you know, do it afraid. I do a lot of things afraid, you know, um, and just go for it. Go for it. You never know how far you'll go. If you trust God, you never know how far you will go. All right. So um, if y'all could please be so kindly to like and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. Um, and what I'm going to do in my next video, I will be showing y'all um, how I do the charms, how I do the charms on these, as well as um, the pendants. All right, so bye-bye for now.